and I'm a super dog, human dog, human super, superman. My superpower is I can fly and also I can stick to metals. You see that kid? I can go and fly and get stuck to that kid. Woo! 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 Baba! I think he got hurt. I think he got hurt. Oh yeah, sure. Ah, oh, sure, he got hurt. Let's check him out. Let's check him out. Are you hurt? Are you hurt? No. I'm not hurt. But my feelings are hurt. <laughs> oh, let's call a doctor then. Uh, doctor hurt? Um, doctor feelings hurt. No, doctor hurts. Hurts, doctor. Doctor, what's the number? What's the number for doctor feelings hurts? No, Cuddles. When you are hurt, you need a doctor. But when your feelings are hurt, you need science. What do you mean science? Oh. Because science can help Ringo get stuck to the metal. How? Here's a magnet and I'm going to stick it to Ringo's nose. Magnet? What can it do? Let's see. Ooh. Look, he's stuck to the gate. Hey, what other things the magnets is used for? Magnets are everywhere and they're very helpful to us. Hi guys, my name is Meg and today we'll be talking about the different uses of magnets. We'll be talking about what is electromagnetism and how to make a pencil float in the air with the help of a magnet. And this is how exactly maglev trains work. Magnets are an essential part of all electric motors like fans, microwaves, washing machine, mixer, grinder and so many more things. And magnets are also found in other things like speakers. That means magnets are in our phones too. Anything that moves needs a motor. Magnets are in our cars. Electricity and magnetism have a strong connection. Scientists call this electromagnetism. This means that magnets can create an electric current. An electric current can create magnets. This is how electric motors and generators work. Without this, there will be no electricity in our home. Let's create our own magnet using electric current. Guys, here I have a nail around which I have twisted some copper wire. When we connect this to a battery, the nail will become a magnet. Guys, do you know how electric motors work? They convert electric energy into physical movement. Electric motors have a coil in it. When you pass electricity through it, it generates a magnetic field. This magnetic field works together with another magnet outside the coil, causing the coil to move. Now let's talk about generators. Generators convert mechanical energy into electric energy. A coil of wire is spun between two opposite magnets. When these magnets are moved with the help of an external force like wind or water, the electric current begins to flow. One of the most important applications of magnet is the maglev train. Okay guys, now it's time to make this pencil float in the air. I've put a magnet here, a magnet here and a propeller at the end. To secure the magnets, I've also put two small black rubber rings at each end. And here is the platform on which our pencil will float. Here's the plastic sheet, two magnets and two magnets. These magnets will attract the front magnet on the pencil. And these magnets will actually repel the back magnet. Okay guys, time to try it out. is these magnets are attracted to this magnet so they are trying to push the magnet forward but this plastic sheet is stopping the pencil from moving forward whereas these back magnets are repelling this magnet and pushing it upwards this is how the pencil stays afloat maglev trains use the same principle maglev no guys it's not maglev it's maglev which means magnetically levitated the track has magnets which repel the magnets on the train, making it lifted off the track by a few inches. While another system of magnets uses the push and pull mechanism to move the train forward. Maglev trains can run up to 4 to 600 km per hour, thus getting close to how fast an aeroplane can fly. If you want to ride a maglev train, you can go to Germany, Japan or Shanghai which is in China. Hey, can we do more tricks with these magnets? I like magnets. No cuddles, that's all the time we had for today. If you want to see more tricks with magnets guys, why don't you check out our tricks with magnets video. Bye, see you for our next video.